Yeah, my wonderful people. Good morning to you all. Oh, good afternoon. Good evening, depending on where you are. Namio, your broadcaster, that your media man, Mandian Eze, from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Before we proceed with other etc. etc. or other toko toko, make on hear this headline. Our able brother will be actor. Uh, wait on there for um media for some time now because of the marriage controversial. He name be Yulu Edochie. He don't carry work out. Go meet uh, president of the Fulani government of Nigeria, President Bolambe Tunumbu. He don't ask him say make it release mass and name the Kano Kia Kia so that uh, they, there will be peace in the southeast. Now, so the matter take be this morning. So, if you hear my verse. For the first time, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like, share, and also comment. It is very, very important and very, very necessary. So without not taking much of our time, please let us go straight to the reason why we are here with the headlines followed. Please, release Mazen Namdekano, Yulu Edoche, begs Tunumbo. Where to correct this impression, M Mr. Yulu Edoche or Madam Yulu Edoche, it have passed to the, 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 the area of begging anybody to release Mazen Namdekano. The Court of Competent Judiciary have said so. So they have no option. Holding Mazen Nam the Kano down is is of no use. They have gone a uh, they have they have gone against all the laws. They have break all the laws in the head of Mazen Nam the Kano. First, abduction from Kenya and ordinary extraordinary rendition to back to Nigeria without proper documentation. Two, two competent court of uh, 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 respected uh, uh, in Nigeria with the competent of jurisdiction or how do they used to say it have set Mazen Nam Kano free let him go high court in Aba have said so with compensation supreme court sorry appeal court in uh, Abuja that is the second highest court we have in Nigeria have discharged Mazen Nam Kano and said go so as it stands now, nobody should ever be begging the federal government or whoever to release Mazen Nam Kano. It is within his right to get freedom at all costs. Whether the federal government like it or not, Mazen Nam Kano must be released. Keeping him is a mount to marching on his fundamental human rights. So coming on the social media now to say you are begging Tunumbu or whoever to release Mazen Nam Kano, it is uncalled for. Well, we, ad we admire your courage. We admire uh, for you to speak it out because... Uh, if a lot of prominent men in our area or the people self who are willing to do if they are speaking like this just like uh, the way you did the way uh uh little daughter did the way as uh, obvious the question did the way soludo did the way peter Mba did and uh, most of a uh, host of others if they keep on doing like this i don't think uh, there will be cause for alarm yes i don't think that because alarm mazinam the kind would have been free since but due to the so-called uh, prominent men who have in the Igbo land have already sold their conscience to the Fulani Caliphate. So they are being controlled from Fulani, from uh, for Sultan of Sokoto's uh, uh, palace. In one way or the other, they have committed. And ESCC and DSS is always out there waiting for them to them to struck to make any single statement concerning any what is happening in the in the Biafran land or the case of Mazen Namdekano and e DSS or ESCC will come after them. So they have committed all of them. Well, you have done well, my dear brothers. Anyway, let us proceed to the reason why we are here this morning. Please do not forget to subscribe once again. Like and also share because it is very, very necessary and very, very important. Controversial Hollywood actor Yule Doche has urged President Bolambe Tunumbu to release Mazen Nam the Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Kano has been uh, locked up since he was a uh, they arrested or he was uh, abducted and uh, repatriated to Nigeria two years ago from Kenya. The IPOB leader was picked up over his agitation for the actualization of the state of Biafra. Despite courts ordering a Kano's release, the Nigerian government has refused to set him free. In a tweet via his uh, Twitter handle on Tuesday morning, Yule Doche pleaded with Tunumbu who he described as a man who fought for democracy for three decades to set Kano free from the Department of State Service, DSS custody. To our leader, President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu at official bat, GCFR, the Jagaban, Idoche tweeted, a man who has fought for democracy for three decades, a builder and supporter of men and women of calibers. My president, it have come to our notice that you need to free Mazen Nam the Kano, a humble request from your son. 
you look at it here okay oh. it depends on the way you see it depends on the way you want to understand it but whichever way it is whether you beg or you plead or you you lie on the floor the fact still remain you have spoken out as a true sons of biafra land so in the other hand we have a peter obese uh, state his stance on the alaba market and demolition by lagos government let us see what happens mr peter b of the labor party has uh, reacted to the recent demolition of some buildings at the alaba international market by lagos state government will be said although some of the demolitions might be uh, excusable they had left many victims mostly ordinary people who he believed we were either innocently ill informed or misguided he said the primary duty of any government is to care for and protect its citizens in a statement he issued via his verified twitter handle on tuesday the former number state governor advised that the necessary corrective measures uh, to planning or zoning violations by government need not to be punitive or unduly insensitive this one is coming from the rock mr gringo peter obi Recall that the Lagos, Lagos State Government have on June 16 begun the removal of what it described as a district buildings in the Alaba International Market located in Ojo, Ojo Alaba local government area or Ojo local government area of the state. Daily Post report that the enforcement team of the Lagos State Building Control Agency, LASBAC, and the Lagos State Task Force embarked on the joint exercise following the controversy that trailed the exercise. The government insisted that the exercise was a measure to prevent disaster. However, we be maintained that Nigerian citizens should not be subjected to the additional stress of unexpected hardship, according to Peter Obi. The statement read in fully, recently there have been reports of a widespread government uh, demolition of so-called illegal structures erected by some Nigerian uh, by some innocent Nigerian citizens in error. We face a paradox with a 70 million housing deficit and vast unmet housing needs nationwide. Some resort to self-help by building structures that serve as homes, businesses, uh, SMEs, offices, and uh, stores. Inv invariably, some of these structures were either not approved or were built on the tacit collusion or appro approval of the local authorities. While some of these uh, uh, ongoing uh, demolitions may be excusable, they have nonetheless left many victims, mostly ordinary people who erred innocently or were ill-informed or misguided. Necessarily, corrective measures to planning or zoning violations by governments need to be punitive and unduly insensitive, according to The Rock, Peter Obi. There should always be room for compassion and human correction in taking any remedial action. I respectively appeal to the various governmental authorities to marry the need to enforce compliance and extant regulatory regimes with consideration for the human feelings and necessary compassion. This one is coming from the office of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Gringo de Pitobi. In Nigeria, we live in a time of extreme difficulties for citizens because of a stagnant income, spiraling infl inflation, high unemployment, escalating social economic costs, and high cost of living or join. Nigerian citizens should, therefore, not be subjected to additional stress or sufferings of unexpected hardship. Moreover, the virus concerned governments should consider paying compensation to those who have lost properties and livelihoods in these unfortunate demolitions to ameliorate they are suffering. Such compensation should fall under the rubric of eminent domain that is applicable for properties and other assets acquired or demolished in the public interest. It cannot be over, in, over, over in, uh, uh, emphasized that the primary duty of any government is, is uh, the responsibility to care and protect her citizens at all time, at all cost. According to Mr. Gringo Peter Obi. Another one here we have uh, this one they said repentant Boko Haram terrorists decry poor living conditions. When I see what they push people into all these uh, arms dealings and uh, other um uh, other uh, heinous crimes. Not that I'm uh, I'm uh, 
uh encouraging anyone to go into crime or to go into uh, any art that is not uh, being supported by uh, the government but let us be mindful of how we handle the cases in this form please forgive us we are repented this one is coming from the repented boko haram members some repented boko haram insurgents have described decried their living conditions months after their integration into the society Nigerians understand that over 1,000 Boko Haram terrorists have surrendered to the Nigerian military in the past two years following the bombardment of their camps by troops in the northern northeast. Okay, if their camp is not bombarded, they will still be Boko Haram. And instead of you to put, inside, put them inside prison, you will bring them into the society. My dad, they will still go back to what as, as they are complaining of their 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 living condition. It will also push them to go back to what they know how to do very well. You call them repentant Boko Haram. Simply because their, their camp was bombed. That is why they surrendered. Not that you capture them on your, on, their, on your own. And you tell me they will not go back. Because they are full of knees. It's alright. We are waiting. Following the bombardment of their camps by the troops in the Northeast. Speaking with a rise uh, news. A former terrorist commander. Buka Mala lamented. The quality of food given to them adding that it had become increasingly challenging for them to consume the meals provided no nigerian government hmm, or i will see something he said we are currently confronted with a significant issue concerning our food situation the quality of the food provided to us here falls for far below what we received during my time at the barracks it has become increasingly challenging to consume the meals provided in light of this I urge the government to prioritize our welfare and consider providing us with necessary capital to establish our own business. Another Haram, also speaking, another repentant uh, terrorist, Omar ba uh, Bashi, is clear that the repentant insurgents did not uh, have proper security in the camp during the radicalization program. He therefore called on the government to help them in their situation so as to ensure that they do not return to the forest and operate in terror and press in terrorist activities after being rehabilitated into the society. He said, having responded to the government pleas to disarm, I find myself in a perilous situation. I am currently under the threat of death by active combatants in the bush. The accusation against me is that uh, my leadership resulted in the surrender of numerous individuals leading to a significant decline in our kingdom's power. Their intention is to execute this plan by dispatching an assassin to end my life. In light of these circumstances, I urgently appeal to the government for protection and security measures to ensure my safety. But according to the chairman of the North uh, East Civil Society, Amir Rishew, the process of monitoring and evaluating the repentant insurgents is very, very important and very, very necessary. He said, I am involved in the process where everything before they are released. I used to engage them, listen to them, so what is currently missing, I think, is a framework where aggressive engagement and uh, then monitoring and then evaluating the process of these repentance is very important, looking at their numbers keep increasing on a daily basis. I see that one is not enough. Oh. We have our pastor here, pastor of Different Life, Pastor Kumi, sent important messages to gospel ministers in the society. The General Superintendent of the Deeper Life uh, or Deeper Christian Life Ministry and a Convener of the Global Crusade with Kumi uh, GCK, GCK, Pastor William Kumi, this out an important message to all gospel ministers in his latest sermon. Nigerians understand that Pastor Kumi spoke extensively on the topic reviving. Uh, Reviving Christian's Timeless Ministry in the present day ministry at the ongoing June edition of the GCK for the Gospel Ministers, church workers and professionals with the team fulfilling their ministry with heaven in view of the Ubi Wale International Conference Center, Port River State. In his sermon, Kumiye admonished Gospel Ministers to ensure they portray Jesus Christ and not be saved based on the transformed lives they have received to shine as lives in their lifestyle and in the world. According to him, the life of a true believer differs from that of the natural man 
Hence, they cannot be like those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior. Pastor Kumi noted that while there is a possession of the righteousness on the one hand, true believers are also commissioned to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, power deposited in their lives. The renowned preacher admonished pastors and preachers to remember that Christ came to save sinners and he has committed the mystery to offer reconciliation to believers of today who must understand that they are duty bound to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ everywhere they go. Kumi said, we should allow the congregations we are ministering to to see Jesus in us. He, Kumi posted that uh, God would grant his disciples the riches of his glory and strengthen them in the inner man as they follow his footsteps. Oh, sorry, my dear. We should not listen to present present day preachers and theologians that say miracles cannot happen again. He explained. This one is a message from Kumi to other ministers of the gospel in the house. Well, we are. We have another uh, situation here. Tunumbu urged to consider Saudana as EFCC replacement chairman. President Bolambe Tunumbu has been urged to appoint a Saudana who will take over from Abdurashid Bawa as the next chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC. The Nigerian leader was also asked to, to appoint the next. EFCC chairman based on merit, competence, and a proven track record in the fight against corruption. The National Coordinator of Human Rights, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Huriwa, Emmanuel Omubiko, stated this in a statement made available to newsmen in Uwere on Monday. Human Rights Writers Association also called for the nationalization of the EFCC chairmanship to ensure equitable representation from the all regions of Nigeria, saying that the constant uh, appointment of individuals from the north is a cause for concern. It is said uh, the appointment of northerners at ESCC boards are led to the pre, uh, perception that the position is micro zone to the north, depriving equally competent individuals of the south of the opportunity to contribute to the fight against corruption in our country. The statement reads in past, such a decision would send a powerful message of unity and uh, inclusivity, fostering a harmonious and balanced Nigeria of all time. We firmly believe that a candidate from the southern region should be appointed as the next EFCC chairman to ensure a fair distribution of power and to showcase the competence of individuals from diverse backgrounds. It is essential to rectify the existing regional imbalance within the EFCC by appointing a candidate from the South as the next chairman to address the, the perspective of bias and create a more balanced representation within the institution or the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Human Rights Writers Association described Tunumbu as a prominent leader known for his commitment to fairness and justice and equity and urged him to exhibit the same by appointing a candidate from the South as the next EFCC chairman under his administration. When I hear him, okay, as we are talking about Shehu Sane, as IDP announces withdrawal of all police officials from every VIP in Nigeria, can you be, can you do it? Can you do it? You cannot do it. Don't say something you cannot do. Former Kaduna Central Lawmaker, Shea Usani has reacted to the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Ulukayo De Ebo Tokun, uh, promised to effect the withdrawal of police mobile force personnel from VIP escort and guard duties. Recall that the acting uh, Inspector General of Police said that uh, it was necessary to make the move so as to ensure enough security personnel to combat crime in the country. He said, we shall effect the withdrawal of uh, PMF personnel 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 from vip escort and guard duties while the protection of dignitaries remains paramount it is imperative that we learn uh, okay we learn why the protection dignities our priority is to address the escalating security challenges faced by the nation as a whole 
by relieving the PMF or VIP uh, escort and guard duties. We can redirect their focus and efforts towards addressing critical security concerns that affect our communities at large. To support the foregoing strategic plan and make needed power available for frontline duties, the withdrawn PMF officers will be replaced by officers of the Special Protection Unit only where necessary. Reacting to the IG, IGP suspe, uh, submission via Twitter, Sani noted that all new IGPs always announce the withdrawal of policemen from VIPs but often go back on their word. That's exactly what I said earlier on. They can never achieve it. The, Nigeria is a country that keep on enacting laws that they never obey or even carry it out. He, however, hoped that this will lead to a different outcome. He wrote, all new IGP or police do these two things, withdrawing police men from the VIPs and removing checkpoints months later. The police will return to the VIPs and the checkpoints will return too. I hope this one will be different. There is nothing different. It's the same people, the same Nigeria and the same system. So there is nothing different there. For me, I think they can never do anything. IGP, able to con orders police convoys to observe traffic regulations and traffic lights. The acting into in general policy, Ulukayo De Ebe Tokun has directed all police convoys nationwide to observe traffic rules and regulations. Nayano report that Ebe Tokun gave the directive during a meeting with his squadron leaders and the tactical commanders on Monday at the force headquarters in Abuja. The new police chief asserted that the directive was in line with his vision of building a, a rule of law and a complainant. Uh, compliant police force, adding that he would be leading by example. Able to stress that uh, it is the duty of police officers to enforce the laws of the nation, and they must also respect and obey the laws guiding the nation before the citizens follow suit. The IGP also warned senior officers and commanders that henceforth they will be held responsible for lack of supervision whenever any of the men are found wanting. He said, let me end this speech by reminding you that those who keep the peace must be uh, the epitome of peace. Those whose duty is to enforce the laws of the land must themselves respect and obey the laws of the land. Without obeying the laws, the police lack the moral high ground to interrogate and bring lawbreakers to book. Yes, we have it in Nigeria. A policeman will smoke Igbo and come and be going uh, from one uh, joint to the other, catching people that is smoking Igbo. <laughs> uh, who, who must come to equity, must do what, must come with a clean hand. That's exactly what uh, IGP or police is trying to say here. Consequently, in line with my vision of building a rule of law, compliant police force, it is my directive that henceforth all police convoys on routine, non-emergency movement, must obey traffic lights and other traffic rules. I plan to lead by example in this regard. As you will be returning to your virus basis, I wish you a safe journey and please be assured of my best wishes always, according to the IGP Ebe Toko of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Trouble as Nigerian police inspector attempts to kill colleague. What triggers the action, I don't know, but that is what we are about to find out. The Kaduna State Command of the Nigerian Police Force has confirmed the arrest of a serving inspector for allegedly attempting to kill his colleague on duty, maybe because of bribe, because of a, a gunje, and the rest of them. 